So I just saw this video today about the Conception Comet and I'm going to show you how to use Stellarium to add this comet to Stellarium because it's not in there originally. So I'm basically going to focus on that in this video, but if you want to check out more about the Conception Comet, please see this video from World Breaker and I'll leave the link below so you can check them out. Thanks. I am currently in Stellarium and I'm going to add this comet that somebody called the Conception Comet concerning the Revelation 12 sign. So you'd go over here to the configuration window and you can see that these are the different tabs. You'd go over to plugins and you can scroll down here to solar system editor and you want this load at startup clicked and then click configure and down here you would put import orbital elements in MPC format that's underneath the add new solar system objects so you're going to add here you click here for comets and then here there's a list so you'd want to choose MPC's list of observable comets and then click get orbital elements you can just pick and choose which ones you want but we're just going to click mark all and then add objects So it's adding the objects now. And then I'm going to close out Stellarium and I'm going to restart Stellarium. So I'm restarting Stellarium and it always starts in this um, full screen. I want to go to not full screen, <laughs> window mode. All right, so we're going to look up the comet now, uh, search and go C slash 2017 E1 and you'll see Borisov that's the one you want you can click enter and it'll find it so this is the comet the supposedly the um, conception comet so I'm going to go to 2016 in November late November and find uh, Virgo Okay. So I'm going to add the constellation designs here. Go forward just a little bit. All right. I'm going to go into December. All right. So we've got Leo the lion up there, and Jupiter is just coming into Virgo for the nine months of pregnancy shortly here. And I'm going to find the comet again, C2017 E1, okay, so you got uh, Borisov right there is at Virgo's feet, so we're going to go back a little bit and just watch that, all right, we got to move the time here so that we can see what's going on, I'm going to get rid of the clouds, all right, so what this red mark here, that's where the comet is. So we're going to watch that. Just going to move this so that we can see it a little bit more clearly again. So the idea here is that this comet actually came from Leo the Lion. Leo the Lion, the tribe of Judah, that's the Messiah. And uh, that comet is acting as if it is a sperm going into Virgo. And I'm going to just go through the months here, a couple months real quick. So we see that the comet is entering Virgo. And once it you know, enters Virgo, not to be graphic here, then we see that Jupiter uh, becomes in her belly, basically. So she will be carrying Jupiter for nine months. That's why this comet, C slash 217, 2017, sorry, E1 Borisov is called the Conception Comet. So I just thought that was interesting. If you want to have it in Stellarium, you can download it as I've shown you in this video. It's interesting to me that it is not in Stellarium when you download it and you have to 
get it, it's because it was a relatively new discovery, and that's why it says 2017 in the name. So I'll leave the link below to this article on SOTT.net, that is signsofthetime.net, and uh, it talks about the new comet that was discovered. It was uh, issued on 2017, March 4th. Uh, it says magnitude 17 by Gennady Vladimir Shof Borisov. That's why it's got Borisov in the name. So you can check this out if you're interested in how they discovered it and everything, but uh, just think that's interesting that this is a new discovery in 2017. So if this comet, you know, was happening, was a sign of the times, basically, uh, you know, coming out in 2017, who's to say in seven years from now, we're not going to see like many comets that are newly discovered in our sky that are signs from our father. So I just thought that was interesting. Just wanted to share in case you want to add it to your Stellarium. Stellarium is a really neat program to study the sky because those stars were put there for signs and for seasons from our father. And I understand that they may have stuff in there that's false, like the ISS. There may be things in our heavens that are not in these little programs on our computers yet. That's why we have to keep our eyes to the skies and also check out the news on things like these, on new discoveries for comets. You know, maybe even add one of those Google notifications of new comet discoveries to, you know, keep an eye on what's actually going on out there because we have to search for the truth. It's the honor of kings to search out a matter. We have to knock to find, you know. We are not supposed to be just sitting around doing nothing. We're supposed to be studying these things out and looking for things. I mean, there's many people who have never heard of this conception comet because it really didn't make very big news. So that's why we should be paying attention to these things. Why is it not making big news? Why are people not really talking about it? So just keep an eye out and thanks for listening. Hope this helped.